welcome back to my channel. So today we continue our Green Witch series, as you probably already guessed. Um, we have a really cool DIY for you today. Uh, get really excited because we are learning how to make these DIY spell incense cones. It's super easy. You can make them from herbs you have in your house. Um, the specific one we're making today has to do with drawing money, luck, and prosperity into your life. So stay tuned and we will get right into it. All right, everyone. So we don't want these to be the ordinary incense cones that you buy from the store. Um, because we're making them special, uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't put all of our energy and intention into them to make them almost a spell on their own. So we want to add all of that power. That's why I'm surrounded by crystals that bring wealth, money, and prosperity. I also have some candles that are anointed with um, spicy money oil and some glitter to reflect our intentions. I'm going to light those. So I'm going to start off by going over what we need for today. I obviously have a lot of herbs I'm using for this. If you don't have them all, that's fine. Use whatever herbs you want to. Um, if you're trying to increase wealth, you can get ideas from me. Or if you have a different intention for these incense sticks, just do your own research, you know, figure out what herbs work best for you. But I want this to be super, super powerful, so I'm using all of the herbs that I have that promote wealth, luck, and prosperity, and also power, because girl wants to be powerful. We are going to need some water. I have mood water that's being charged by a citrine crystal to help bring that prosperity energy and intention. I have black cat oil. I have some pure honey. For herbs, I have red clover, I have cedar, I have marjoram, I have sandalwood, I have white oak bark, I have strawberry leaf, cinnamon, dragon's blood powder, I have eucalyptus, catnip, I have spearmint leaf, black tea, we have some dill, and we have some alfalfa leaf. I also have here a torn up $100 bill. I'm not an idiot. I'm not just wasting a $100 bill. I actually found this on the street in New Orleans. It was torn in half, but I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to use it for our incense cones. You're gonna need some scissors, something to write with, a marker, a pen. You could even use a green or gold pen if your attention is for money. You're going to need a lighter. You're gonna need some kind of bowl to burn things in. And you're also going to need a smudge stick or I have Palo Santo here so we can cleanse this. You're going to need a mortar and pestle and some kind of spoon or contraption to mix your herbs around. And finally, you are going to need a sheet of paper. All right, I'm going to start off by cleansing all of my area and my supplies. Okay, so to begin, we are going to start adding all of our herbs to our bowl here. All right, so as you can see, we have quite a bit of herbs in here. The next thing we are going to do is move this to the side for now. We need to grab our paper. We are going to be making a spirit powder to go into these incense. Um, one tip I do have, if you are making a small batch of this incense very, for a very specific purpose, such as a specific spell for someone um, you can be as specific as you want, but because I'm making a big batch and I just want these to be money, prosperity, um, luck, incense cones, like generally without a specific person or purpose in mind, I am just going to write some things um, about drawing money. I'm going to write about drawing prosperity, drawing luck, and I'm going to be drawing some money, prosperity, and luck sigils onto this paper. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I have written everything I feel comfortable writing on this to very generalize it to my money drawing purposes, I am going to fold it towards me. You don't want to fold it too tight because we will be burning this to make it into spirit intention powder. So we're going to take our bowl, put some last few intentions into it, and we are going to let it burn. All right, next we are going to take this dollar bill. We're gonna burn it as well. Okay, we are going to bring our herbs back over here. We're gonna pour our spirit ashes intention powder into this. We're going to give it a good mix around. So the trick to making really good incense cones is to make sure you grind up your herb so, so finely until they're in a very fine powder. So it's probably going to take you a good like 10 minutes to do so. I'm going to speed this up and I'll come back to you guys when we have this ground up to a very fine powder. All right, so I guess that's kind of as close as we're gonna get to this being a powder. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to add, you're not gonna wanna add a lot of this, just a few drops of black cat oil. Just a smidge of honey. And now we're going to add um, just a little bit of our um, moon water that is being charged with a citrine crystal. You're basically, the intent is to make a paste out of this. So you might have to add more. You might have added too much, but start really small so that you don't have to add more herbs. We're just gonna mix that up and see where we're at with our paste. I decided to move the camera angle so you guys could see what I was doing in here better. All right, we're getting somewhere now. I'm going to add just a smidge more of honey. and a smidge more of water. It looks like we have that about where we need it. Well, let's check it out. Yep, that's exactly how we need it. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna put down some oil on this plate so that they do not stick to this as we craft them. And you're really just gonna start forming a little triangle. It's probably too much. And there you have it guys. So that is how you make your own incense cones to go specifically with your own intentions. Like I said, you could make them as big or small as you want. The drying process on these is going to be a few days, uh, you just kind of let them air dry. I bring them in at night so they don't get dewy. During the day, I let them dry in the sun to soak up that solar energy. So I'm about to go put them out there right now and make sure to check out my Instagram because when these are done, I will give an update on how they burn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making it for you. I can't wait to try these out. I can't wait to use them in some money work. So yeah, stay tuned, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think. Please tell me. All right, guys, have a great day.